Today, I'll be teaching you how to make fishing line out of New Zealand flax. Now, the key to making fishing line out of New Zealand flax is not to use green flax, because when the green flax is woven into fishing line, it will become brittle as it dries. So you will use strong, already dead ones. These will make the best fishing line. And also, as you can see, I'm wearing a paracord bracelet. See the link in the description below to see how to make them. See, now this is my flax that I have now. It's half the size of what it was, but it still needs to be refined a lot more to get our end product that we need to make our fishing line. So it's going to have to look something closer to this effect. Something like this. We're going to need these three fishing lines, or soon to be fishing lines. So what we first want to do is just tie up the ends because it does it's not a beauty contest, it's just fishing line. It just needs to work. All tied up. Okay, now what we want to do is take our three pieces of flax, cross one into the middle. So now that one's in the middle. So take the one to its left, cross it over. Now that one's in the middle. So take the one to its right and cross it into the middle. Then take the one to its left and cross it into the middle. And take that one to its right and cross it into the middle. And we continuously do this pattern and we end up weaving it. See, now this is what I have after just two minutes. It's 15 centimeters worth of fishing line. And if you just continue like this for maybe half an hour, you could have a couple meters worth of fishing line. In fact, this is almost close to the 20 centimeters worth of fishing line. And you just continue like this, and it's plenty strong. And this will easily hold a large eel or large freshwater fish. Now, this is 10 minutes worth of fishing line, 10 minutes worth of weaving and plaiting to get this fishing line. See, just 10 minutes worth is all of this. It's, it's easily over a meter, and just from a little bit of effort. 